This video will cover even more case uses in sections 116 and 117 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek and Intensive Course. We'll talk about the dative of the possessor and the adverbial accusative. You'll find these in Hansen and Quinn on pages 440 and 441. Dative of the possessor is another in your list of things that the dative can do. And let me give you an example. A cano to Andri esti mikra oikia. To that man, there is a small house. Is a nice literal way of doing that that preserves one of the default ways of translating the dative. But English is more likely to express this idea as that man has a small house. And when you see dative of the possessor, you can flip it around that way to make better English instead of translation ease. Dative of the possessor is going to answer the question what somebody has instead of putting emphasis on who has it. The much more common genitive of possession, ekenu tu andrus mikra esten hei oikia, of that man small is the house, what horrible translation ease, that man's house is small, is answering much more the question who has something. Whereas dative of the possessor, Greek is going to choose that when we're asking what somebody has. It's not a particularly strong distinction. The two things overlap in meaning, and you will see, of course, the genitive of possession much more often. But now you know that this is an option when you see a dative, particularly with the verb to be or some other state of being verb, and none of the other uses of the dative that are more common are working in the context that you're reading. Let's move on to the adverbial accusative, which behaves exactly as its title would suggest. For instance, T tauta epoesas. For what did you do these things? Or, in better, more colloquial English, why did you do these things? And you are going to see this use of T in the neuter accusative singular really, really often. If you see T, as a question word at the beginning of a sentence, you really should try why almost before you try what. And what's going on there is that it is asking um, limited to what is something happening. And that's what an adverbial accusative does. And that's an adverbial function in language. And that comes into English usage as why. But we'll see the same kind of limiting effect with other words. So, tina tropon tuta epoiesas. In what way did you do this? So, it's asking, um, limited to what kind of thing did you do something? Or, ton de ton tropon tuta epoiesa. I did this in the following way. Good example of. Um, Hada uh, heda tada, looking forward. Another example, telos up elthon. So you don't only do this with question words um, and interrogatives. You can see it with other words as well. So here, telos in the accusative gives us, in the end, they went away. So limited to this particular period, they went away. In English, we might say that particular one as, finally, they went away. The adverbial accusative actually lets adjectives, particularly in the neuter plural accusative, act as adverbs really quite frequently in Greek in the wild. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, Hansen and Quinn is going to help you practice seeing and using these things in their sentences. Good luck.